so in this video we are going to see about how to insert records through php script so already we have seen how to uh, connect to the database and how to use select statement within the sql query uh, that is within the php script and how to print it on the browser in a table format that's what we have seen in the previous videos now we are going to see how to insert a record through php script so first you have to connect it to the database so for that we use this uh, syntax db handle mysql connect and then first argument will be the local host second argument will be the user that is root for mysql and there is no password so you have to give it in double quotes and test one which is the database name which we have created in uh, using php my admin then this is the if it is not connected this statement will be executed so this is an exception or die means it will stop here itself if it is not connected it will stop here itself and it posts this message else it will execute next statement that is successfully connected to the server will be displayed on your screen then we write a query insert into table one values this data so here already i have inserted this value so now i change this now we will change this so some new data so here we are going to write this data is the one with the role number 111 is not there because i already have made the role number to be unique so uh, previous data it is it, uh, th this data should not be there so now i am entering this data using this insert command insert into table one values i have entered in the same order as how i created in the database okay so you have to be careful or else you have to give the column name and then values uh, in the case if you change this uh, no problem but it has still there it has to follow the column name order which you are entering here then uh, after you write the string that has to be passed to the query so which is nothing but my sqli underscore query the first argument will be this db handle it is this and then the second argument will be the query and if it fails uh, what has to be done so you are here you have written the die unable to execute and then we print that query so that when you print that query we will come to know what mistake uh, we have made in the query so that's why we are printing it here then if uh, once uh, this query is executed now we would like to know whether the query is uh, executed properly or not so for that we have exclusive statement called my sqla affected rows because already you have seen while seeing the in one row the sql will have will post the user interface it will give the information to the user as one row affected two rows affected like that so if it comes like that then we can understand that the data has been inserted or updated or deleted like that so my if my sql affected rows so it will return the result in terms of my sql uh, in terms of this so we have an exclusive function which will catch that so my sql underscore affected rows is also uh, uh, my sql function uh, with, uh, so within bracket we have to give this db handle so if the rows are affected it will return and if it is equal to one that means successful student data is inserted successfully else unable to insert if it is not returning, it, it is return zero then we can understand that it is not able to understand unable to understand that's what we have displayed here now we'll see how this works so insert db i'm just executing so it it is giving successfully connected to the server for the first one and the student data inserted successfully now we'll see the see here before insertion it was like that only these data i have inserted what data here shanti 111 it is not here because it is not refreshed okay uh, now just now i have exuded so now just let me re refresh it just by pressing browse now you can see this data is this data shows 
okay i am not inserting it through the interface i have inserted it through the php script so you can do like this and then the data gets inserted 